Good morning, I'm about to present our work Methodology of Custom Design and Manufacturing of 3D External Bridge Prosthesis New Bridge External Prosthesis Printed in 3D A Pilot Experience Bridge cancer is the most frequent cancer in women. It affects 1 out of 8 women worldwide. Surgery for this pathology is the strongest therapy to heal. Mastectomy with the criteria of radical oncology is an option but 90% of the cases that discard the um, reconstruction will use external prosthesis to improve their body image. Right now prefabricated external bridge prosthesis are used after the scar has healed or radiotherapy treatment has finished. The post-surgery are made of foam and the definitive made of silicone. There are two types with without an adhesive band and they are easily deteriorating. The reason of dissatisfaction of the patient are the heaviness, the difficulty of getting dressed, the natural aesthetic result, and the prosthetic, prosthetic movements. Heat sensation or sweat and skin irritation are, again, dissatisfaction points, and the high cost of this orthopedic equipment adds to the dissatisfaction. The objective of this preliminary work has been to design and produce a 3D model by Advanced Manufacture and the FF method, Fused Filament Fabrication, printing an external bridge prosthesis that is comfortable, flexible, resistant, natural looking, durable in time and easily to maintain. Also, it is intended to design customized prosthesis with identical anatomical characteristics to the contralateral or even the disease bridge could be manufactured if scanned prior to surgery. The final goal is to provide the patient a good quality of life plus a high grade of satisfaction. Materials and methods. For the reconstruction of the bridge model, two types of prosthesis were carried out. First one, the volumetric computed tomography scan of a standard prosthesis to obtain a mesh model which could be modified and adapt to the needs of the user. We obtain sections in decoms then we use a 3D builder software to generate a high quality 3D model and we use a 3D hand scanner that achieves very accurate scan with excellent resolution. To achieve the best quality of manufacture we had the 3D printer Ultimaker S5 with efficient air and filtration and filament humidity control and we use the thermoplastic elastomeric filament with a high coefficient of friction and great softness and we add the skin color similar to the patient. As the results, a personalized external bridge prosthesis has been made by additive manufacturing. The model was made before surgery to try to achieve a body symmetry and with anatomical prolongation of the bridge plate in the upper lateral quadrant. A skin and nipple shape match the real one. The intrinsic characteristic of this model are that it keeps the flexibility achieved by traditional prosthesis models and the lightness acquiring a weight reduction of 70%. We made an evaluation by this poll and we have the, say, the next results which are that the patient say that it's less heavy, easy to maintain, no paresthesia or scar problems by the prosthesis and the close selection is easier. In contraposition, uh, some agreed that it wasn't enough natural for them. To conclude, this new external bridge prosthesis model is obtained by advanced manufacture and constitute a really good choice to simulate the bridge gland in women who have undergone a mastectomy surgery. Even though this can be realized and customized to be as similar as possible with a previous scan of the own patient member. The advantages of a pilot project are a natural result, the softy result and the possibility to design and make and adapt bridge prosthesis to each patient morphology. This will produce a satisfaction increase and an improvement of in, the, in the lifestyle quality of the patient with total bridge removal surgery. In the name of our work group, we thank you for your attention.